morning. It's time for another story time. I'm glad you're here today. Let's get ready with a quick warm up. Everybody, reach your arms up high. Stretch, stretch, stretch as high as you can. And then reach down and touch your toes. Then come back to the middle and spin your arms. And then we'll wave and sing hello. Hello, hello. Can you clap your hands? Hello, hello, can you clap your hands? Can you reach up high? Can you touch your toes? Can you spin your arms? Can you say hello? Hello again, I'm so glad you're here. Let's see if Itsy Bitsy is here. Oh, in fact he is, he's always here. He loves story time, don't you Itsy Bitsy? And he loves to get to see you. So, put your fingers together and we'll make finger spiders and you can sing his song with me. Ready? Here we go. The itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. So the itsy bitsy spider went up the spout again. Good job. Very good. Itsy Bitsy, would you like to go back in the bag? Yeah, that's his favorite place to be. So let's say goodbye to Itsy Bitsy. Goodbye. And we'll get his big brother. Here's big brother. Big brother. Do you, do you remember how many legs he has? Shall we count them? Let's try it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Spiders have eight legs. Okay, make big spider legs with your arms and get your great big, great, great big voice ready. Let's sing his song for him. You ready? He's ready too. Great big voice. The great big spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain, so the great big spider went up the spout again. Here he comes back down. Oh my goodness. He came all the way down, and now he wants to say bye-bye, friends. See you next time. All right. Why don't we take our two fingers and show me where your eyes are. Put your fingers right next to your eyes. And where's your nose? That's right, this is the nose. How about your chin? We remember that from when the spider climbs up to our little chin. This is your chin. Here's a hard one. Where are your cheeks? That's right, we have two cheeks. So let's put our little fingers right next to our eyes. Not in them, just right next to them. And we'll sing eyes, nose, cheeky, cheeky, chin. All right, fingers next to your eyes. Eyes, nose, cheeky, cheeky chin. Eyes, nose, cheeky, cheeky chin. Eyes, nose, cheeky, cheeky chin. Then we turn it around. Cheeky, cheeky chin, nose, eyes. One more time together. Put your fingers by your eyes. Eyes, nose, cheeky, cheeky chin. Eyes, nose, Cheeky, cheeky chin, eyes, nose, cheeky, cheeky chin, cheek, cheeky, cheeky chin, nose, eyes. See, it's even hard for Miss Mina. That was a good job. All right, show me all ten fingers standing in a row. You can wiggle them up high. You can wiggle them down low. Shake them really fast. Or shake them really slow. Put them behind your back. Oh, where'd all the fingers go? You have your fingers? Oh good, so do I. Oh those silly fingers. So today I would like to read a story for you. It is about an animal. Do you know what kind of animal this is right here? That's right, he's a pig. And I don't know if you can see, but around him are lots of little frogs. 
And that's interesting. Pigs and frogs you don't usually find together. Well, this is a story written by Rodrigo, <laughs> Rodrigo Figuera. And the, the pictures were drawn the, by the illustrator, Polly Bernadine. And the story is called Ribbit. What? Who makes the kind of sound that says Ribbit? Who makes that sound? You're right, it's a frog. And there are frogs in the story. We can see that on the front of the book. Let's find out what happens, shall we? <gasps> Look at that beautiful color. It's the same color as the pig. What color is that? You're right, it's pink. And we're going to find out what happens in the story titled Ribbit. Sometimes the pages stick together. There we go. Ribbit. Once upon a time, there was a pond, this beautiful pond, that was home to a family of frogs. It was their pond, and they were very happy living there. But one morning, they discovered a surprise visitor. Who was visiting them? Let's see. It was a pig, a little pink pig sitting on a rock. All the frogs came to see this visitor. Oh my goodness, can you see one frog? He's catching a fly. He's not gonna give up that fly even though they came to see a visitor. And the pig, look at his little face. He looks so calm and happy to be sitting on that rock. Goodness, said the frogs. Why is there a pig in our pond? They whispered amongst themselves. Why is there a pig in the pond? Why is there a pig in the pond? Why would a pig come to the pond? Until finally the chief frog, he's the one who's in charge of all the frogs. The chief frog spoke up. <clears throat> Good morning, ribbit, ribbit. What can we do for you? And the little pink pig opened his eyes and to their amazement, the pig answered. Do you know what he said? Let's see. He said, Ribbit. <gasps> what did he say? cried the frogs. This pig is confused. Does he think he's a frog? Is he making fun of us? But again, all the little pig said was, what did he say? Ribbit. <laughs> all the Frogs were so surprised and confused. They had no idea why a pig, what does a pig normally say? What would a pig usually say? That's right, oink, oink. And this pig said ribbit, just like a frog. Well, news of the little pig who thought he was a frog spread fast. And all the animals hurried to the pond to see the visitor. <gasps> the raccoon said, this new relative of yours is a little pink. And the frog said, he's no rela relation of ours. Well, the weasel said, he certainly sounds like a frog. Oh, the parrot who's sitting on the back of the weasel says, why would a pig want to be a frog? And all the frogs said, wait a minute, what's wrong with being a frog? Well, then everyone started shouting at each other, completely ignoring the little pig. Why shouldn't he be a frog? Why is he seeing like a, like a, like a pig? Why would a pig make a frog noise? Why, what, what's going on here? And the pig just sat there practicing his sound. Ribbit, ribbit, ribbit. The animals laughed and laughed, and the frogs got angrier and angrier. Until finally the chief frog shouted, Stop! We're not getting anywhere by fighting. We must go and find the wise old beetle. He'll know what to do. Well, that makes sense. If we can't stop fighting, let's go get someone who can help us. The wise old beetle, said all the animals. Oh, he hates to be disturbed. 
I know, said the chief frog, but this is very serious. That's true, the animals agreed, and off they went to find the wise old beetle. But the pig just watched them. He's still sitting on his rock. And then the little pig said, Ribbit? Hmm. That sounds like he's a little confused and maybe is thinking, what should I do? Well, the animals found the wise old beetle and tried to explain the problem. Well, it was hard for the beetle to understand because they were all talking at the same time. And in the end, he agreed that he would go with them to the pond. But when they arrived, <gasps> look, what's missing? You're right, the pig is gone. They brought the wise old beetle all this way for nothing? Where did the pig go? The animals cried. Who was he? What did he want? Maybe, said the wise old beetle, he just wanted to make new friends. And off he went. Oh, if that pig wanted to make friends, it sure, sure didn't happen, did it? Everybody just started arguing and fighting. Oh dear, said all the animals. They hadn't thought of that. And sure enough, sitting on a branch high up in a tree nearby was the little pig. Where did he go? He went up the tree and sat on a branch where there were some birds. Maybe those birds will be his friends. And so guess what all the friends did? They came to the tree and they joined the birds and now he was surrounded by all new friends. And you know what every single one of those animals said? They all said, tweet, 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 tweet. They all made bird sounds proudly. And look how happy the pig looks. He finally found some friends. I like that story. Shall we clap for it? All right. You know what? We did not sing our ABCs today. So what we're going to do is clap our ABCs out. So we'll clap each time we sing a letter. Ready? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time won't you sing with me? Good job. So tell me one last thing. Where do you think you might find a pig? That's right, on a farm. If you sit on a farm, you're absolutely right. Do you know Old MacDonald had a farm? Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. And on his farm he had a dog, E-I-E-I-O. With a woof woof here and a woof woof there. Here woof, there woof, everywhere woof woof. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. And on that farm he had a cat, E-I-E-I-O. With a meow meow here and a meow meow there. Here meow, there meow, everywhere meow meow. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. Oh, here's a big one. And on that farm he had a cow, E-I-E-I-O. What does a cow say? That's right. With a moo here and a moo there. Here a moo, there a moo, everywhere a moo, moo. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. Oh, and on that farm he had a chicken. Oops, where's the chicken's face? There he is. And on that farm he had a chicken, E-I-E-I-O. With a buck, buck here and a buck, buck there. Here, buck, there, buck, everywhere, buck, buck. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. 
one more. And on that farm he had a horse, E-I-E-I-O, with a neigh here and a neigh there, here a neigh, there a neigh, everywhere a neigh, neigh, old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. Very good. Well, it's time for us to clap and sing goodbye. Everyone get your fingers ready, warm them up, and let's start. We clap and sing goodbye, we clap and sing goodbye, with our friends at story time. We clap and sing goodbye, we wave and sing goodbye, we wave and sing goodbye, with our friends at story time. We wave and sing goodbye. I'll see you soon. Have a great day.